Chudley Cannons, Chudley Cannons, boom, 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 we are not pirates. Welcome to the championship game. Ooh. It's old Chudley versus the Rovers. The Buzz Rover. Saw, Buzz Lightyear, and Buzz Aldrin. That seems <laughs> close to right. Yeah. <laughs> But before we dive into today's episode, since it's just our championship game here, we're going to kick off with a wonderful sponsor message to give us a little bit of extra luck. Today's sponsorship is brought to you by Annalise, aka Dr. Brandt. And she has a bit of poetry for us. Dr. Brandt says, his eyes are as green as a fish. Oh, man. <laughs> that was so close to being yeah. really good. I think we should include okay. this failure okay, in the video. Okay, hold on. Let me restart, Dr. Brandt. Allow me. His eyes are as green as a fresh pickled toad. His hair is dark as a blackboard. I wish he were mine. He's really divine. The hero who conquered the Dark Lord. I feel like she's talking about Harry Potter. It is Harry it Potter. This like is Harry the Potter. Valentine that Ginny gives Harry in year two. Oh. Yeah, I didn't just I make up that tune. Yeah. Oh, so you're singing I'm it singing in the, the voice. Jim Dale, uh, Arrest, the, the tune he gives it in the book. Yeah. That was, I'm impressed. Yeah. Well, I was more impressed when I thought that you just like pulled that out of a hat. I shouldn't have said anything at all. You shouldn't have. I should have let you believe it. Hmm. Mm. This is, uh, this is, this is often how I, I had a friend in high school who would do this kind of crap all the time though. And you'd be like, man, you are so funny. And then like two years later, you'd hear that bit in like a stand up and you're like, oh. I see what I here. see what he was doing here. You was it was it bees? Yeah. Oh, it was the bees. The bees. The bees. The inventor of the Beasley Bop, or so I. Think. So. <laughs> <laughs> should we get on with the championship? Maybe we should get on to the old championship match against the Rovers. This is, this is our first season as the Chudley Cannons, right? This yeah. is our first oh, season. Oh man. Let's go. Boom! 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 We are not pirates, but we are champions. Hopefully. Hopefully. Yeah, probably. I mean, uh, we are really, in the championship. Like, it's happening. So. Mm -hmm. It's stormy. It's yeah, rovery. It's rovery. It's Chudley Cannon weather. Here we go. Oh, my God. I'm going. I'm going. I'm going. I'm going. Whoops. All right. Boom. Oh, Can we oh. score in the first 15 oh. seconds? That is his tradition. Oh. That is his tradition. There you go. What a wonderful start to the That's game. Do it. Yes. Yeah, look at this. Boom. Oh, oh. Buzz. Oh, no. Buzz. Oh, no. Oh, no. You got that follow-through. That was three seconds, seconds into the that game. Was, that that is oh, amazing. That's, That's what good. we needed. That's what we needed. That's the start we wanted, people. Let us have a question, then. Let's do it. This is from Faith the Fox. Faith the Fox. I am 11 years old and not oh. a very athletic person, but my family and friends are encouraging me to do it, so now I'm trying to start with basic sports. Do you have any <laughs> advice on how to sport? start <laughs> getting into sports? Oh sport. man, basic sport? What's oh. a basic sport? Yeah. I don't know. What, is <laughs> being, what does being basic even mean? Oh man, it sounds like what she's trying to get into is 11 year old boxing. That's exactly <laughs> what I heard! Oh yeah. my gosh, boxing oh. would be such a great way to get started because right. it would be very unique. Not many of your other friends would do it and it's not very right. basic at all. Not basic. <laughs> it's, it's, it's essentially yeah. the opposite yeah. of basic. You, you need to like come back at your parents with the complete opposite and just be like, Mom, I've decided basic sports Ooh. are for uh, basic, basic, people. basic people. I'm not basic. I'm a boxer. <laughs> <laughs> I am a boxer. And let me tell you what. They're going to be like, uh, sweet. <laughs> <laughs> Question. <laughs> More of a quandary. <laughs> More of a quandary. Uh, <laughs> and whatever they say, you can just be like, are you trying to tell me that I'm basic? <laughs> <laughs> and they'll be like, not at all. That is what ev that's every parent's greatest fear is that their their kids feel basic. Yeah. Ooh. Nice, Derek. Oh, that's there nice. It is. There it is. Way to be. Yeah, rovers. Um. So I think that there's like a <clears> few <throat> different ways to to slice this old um, mandarin orange, if you will. Slice the old okay. mandarin orange. It's a saying. Trust me. Okay. I believe you. The people over at Little Cutie's Halo Oranges <laughs> totally say it. Everyone says it. say that's also In the name of the 11 year old boxing league. Little Cutie's. <laughs> 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 Little Cutie's boxing. Oh, jeez. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, gosh. What is this episode? Oh, uh, oh boy. Okay. okay, so, Ben, what were you going to say? Oh, well, I was going to say, you like, your orange. I, I know that oftentimes people who uh, categorize themselves sometimes, especially in, in the world of, <clears throat> you know, high school or, um, with, like, the younger years before they've really determined whether or not they have a skill in either athletics or academics, that they often don't feel equipped for one or the other. 
Did that, did that add up with, oh, sure, sure. you know? Mm -hmm. yeah. So, like, I know that this person in particular said that, like, they feel like they're not a particularly athletic person. Um, but, like, maybe just take something that you oh, no. are particularly interested oh, in. Oh, they What a bunch of jabalonis. A bunch of robots. Oh, no. No clear! <laughs> Still. <clears throat> but, like, I think almost the idea would be, like, take something that you would encourage other people to do and use it as, like, a sales pitch, right? Mm. And then, oh, no! And then, oh, no! Oh, it's wide, okay. but, okay. but for now. Oh, man. So sometimes it gets really hard in the championship oh, to give good advice. Mm -hmm. There's so much on the line here. Well, oh. So then what I think you're saying is basically to figure out how you would convince someone to do the thing that you're trying to do? Well, okay, so I think my, my rough my rough train of thought there, and I don't think it was coming out as smoothly as I was really hoping it was going to, um, <laughs> is that there there may be something Whoa, that you do you were gonna say that, that other same. people might be intimidated to do. Sure, sure, right? sure, sure. Got it. And so if you can look at the thing that you're intimidated to do in that same capacity, like how would you convince <clears> somebody <throat> to do the thing that you currently do because they might be intimidated? Does that make sense? Yeah. <clears throat> So it's almost like when you're getting ready to go boxing, you'd be like, well, I'm in chess club, and chess club doesn't intimidate me at all, but boxing does. Yeah. Just flip it on its head. Yeah. What if somebody who's a boxer is afraid of doing chess club? Right. And certainly with athletics, there's such a wide range of ways that you can get involved. Oh, jeez. Um, you know, pass the key. If you really like, I don't know, like dancing or something, that could be athletic if you did specific types of dance, even if it's, you know, something silly like Zumba. Not that I think Zumba's silly, but it's, it is not. <laughs> uh, Zumba's not oh, no. going to be an Olympic sport. What a slip, Jordan. Yep. I, I was just. What are your real feelings? We know, that's all right. I have done Zumba. Honestly, it's fun, but it is, it is just as much a dance class as it is an exercise class. What is, I don't uh, know why you would think dance wasn't an exercise. Yeah, I would think of dance as a sport I would think anyway. of dance yeah. as a sport, yeah. Um, uh, what is someone who does Zumba called? Uh, Kendall, uh, you do have to be like, like certified to do it. Uh, we have a yeah, friend. Yeah, like are they? Who a is Zumbaru. Or like, what are they? Oh my god, that's best in class really for felt. safety. <laughs> <laughs> you guys get that? It was a I did. Reference. I did. That was great. Uh, oh, I did not get it. I thought you were comparing it to a kangaroo, and I was like, are kangaroos? <laughs> <laughs> oh man, come on. Um, the other thing is, just because don't, the other thing is like you say not you're good. not. Oh god that you're not very athletic, but um, that might just have only been the case so far in yeah, your right? life. Like, don't let your own, like your perception of yourself stop you from trying new things. Like, my wife, Beth, um, for her entire life was just like considering herself uncoordinated, unathletic, um, and like didn't do anything like that. She just, she does all the, you know, I don't know, like did band and stuff, and uh, nothing that she would have ever considered athletic. And uh, I don't know, maybe like six years ago, she just found like a running group in town and decided she wanted to try and do like a 5K. And I remember at first she could barely run like two laps on the track, but now she is like, it's like part of who she is is a runner. Right. And like right. it got to the point where like when Derek first met her and I told him this story, yeah. he was like, Oh wow, really? Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I would I, assume I no that Beth was an athlete her whole life. Right, so. right, right, right. And that's the thing, like, and it, it carried <clears throat> over to other sports as well. So, like, we all got into rock climbing. As, are we about to win? Uh, Just I'm, like, I'm like, oh, oh, yeah. Sorry, sorry. There was three seconds left. I felt pretty good about that. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yes. Oh, it feels so good since we've lost the last two. Something. It's, yeah. it's oh my so gosh. glorious. It looks like the shield of Captain America. Oh, a little bit. Did. Oh, look at that trophy. Oh my god. How did you beat me oh, with no goals? My What? Me? Ben had more points than me with no goals. <laughs> I was putting down some crazy some saves, saves. Some big clears, some big centers. Damn. Yeah. There we go. It wasn't the 13 to 2 victory of last episode, but my goodness. What a feeling! The Chudley Cannons have come out on top. Right? It's it's because Fantastic. it's 
It's the new name, I think, really. It's the new yeah. name. You know, yeah. Sky Corp was really like, it, it wasn't until after we left the team that they really went downhill, but it yeah. was really affecting everybody's spirits. Oh, credits roll. Yeah. 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 yeah it's very oh, exciting. Boy. Now, to celebrate our new success, you may head just on over to SuperCarlinBrothers.store and check out the Chudley Cannons poster the that we Chudley have there. So good. It's so I mean, good. we are now officially league champions for the first time since 1892. That's correct. Yay! Yeah, yeah, we do have some amazing posters over at Super Carlin Brothers that store that uh, Ben and I have uh, even signed to some of them if you are so interested in that kind of thing. Yeah. yeah. Or there's other stuff too, but the, most of the Chubby Games posters. That's what you want for right. sure. There's, there's that, and then go join the local boxing gym and see how that goes. Yeah, little cuties. Little, <laughs> little, little cuties. <laughs> where they right. sure know how to slice a mandarin orange. They sure do. <laughs> That's how. It, you can slice a mandarin orange with your boxing glove. It's like a Mr. That's Miyagi a sharp thing. Punch. Yeah, it's like you, you have to be wearing the boxing gloves. 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 <laughs> with a B. <laughs> and then attempting to hold the knife and Oh, no, slice. no. I'm not imagining any knife at all. I'm imagining you're wearing boxing gloves and you can punch an orange such that it slices perfectly. In half. No way! Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. This is about. a skill that can be learned. This is a I'm... can be. I can't wait to see you master it. And, uh,. Yeah. Put it on YouTube, it on where YouTube. it will become viral, Probably. and you will become an internet sensation. Definitely, definitely. But, until next season... We, I want to see the... Is there any more stats we can look at? No. I think there are. I was are just there? enjoying looking at the trophy. The trophy was pretty look. good. Yeah, look, okay, so we can oh, see yeah. that information. The standings. Where did the silly mammoths finish down at 16 and 12? The, uh, the Skyhawks, they were at last at one point. They, yeah. Log their way up to six. They should. It's Victor Crum and the Seekers did not do so hot. No, no. not so, not not so, so good. Much. Victor Crum. Oh, oh, man. It must be post Tri Wizard tournament. He really went downhill after the <coughs> age of 17. That's really that's really like his like MO, though. It's like Victor Crum catches the snitch, but the Seekers lose the game 19 times this season. Right. <laughs> right. right. Yep. Oh, how embarrassing for them. But there you go. Those are the final standings. We can't wait to see you next season. Charlie Cannons, Charlie Cannons, boom, 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 we are not pirates.